so you can see in this video here i have this stem board here by ump uh, which i can control the motor for this stem stem board here i can control the movement by using the app here uh, so as you can see when i click forward both motor is basically moving at the same direction which it move forward and then when i click back so both motor will move backwards and when i click the left button uh, so left button one motor will move clockwise and one more motor will move counterclockwise so one more uh, example here which is if i turn right so the same thing uh, this motor here will move clockwise and this motor here will move counterclockwise and this is how this mo this robot is uh, moving is uh, move forward uh, backward and then turn left and turn right so before this i only show you how to turn on yeah how to turn on the motor and then how to turn off the motor and also how to change the speed but i did not show how to automatically change the direction of the motor whether it is a clockwise or anti-clockwise and in this video here i will show you how to do this by using the motor driver so if you want to know how to do this so please check this video out So to change the motor direction, basically we need to use this chip here. Yeah, if you if you can see here, this chip here written as L293D. So L293D. What does this L293D chip is? Basically, it is a motor driver or what we call as H-bridge motor driver. So what is the H-bridge motor driver? So the H-bridge motor driver is basically yeah, uh, if you look at this screen here uh, this is why it is called a H-bridge because it is, it is shaped as H yeah? so if you can see here it is really shaped as H with the motor is at the bridge yeah? uh, again uh, how to change the movement so basically if we make this part here turn on and turn on and we of the S2 and S4 so the current will flow so basically the current will flow in this direction here uh, which will cause the motor to turn to turn in this direction or we call it is counter clockwise yeah so this is the one movement and the second movement uh, basically we can make this part here turn on and the S2 is turned on and we switch off the S1 and S3 so here the current will flow from the S4 and down to S2 which will cause the, uh, the motor to move in the clockwise movement so this is what we call a clockwise movement this is how we make a clockwise movement so this one here is the clock counterclockwise movement and this here is the clockwise movement which means that we just change which parts of the switch were turned on so this is the basic of using the H-bridge H-bridge a motor driver which is basically is constructed into this single chip here yeah, this single AL293 chip which is basically if uh, you have this chip here you can check one by one uh, the pins assignment here so basically we have uh, pin 2 as input uh, 1 input uh, 2 for the pin 7 and then we have the ground terminal here uh, and uh, the input 4 and 3 and output 3 and 4 at this side here this uh, right hand side here so which means that this first parts here from pin 1 to 8 is basically to control one motor and from the pin uh, pin 9 to 
16 here is to control another moto which means it can control two moto at the same time and this is how this is what where i show you the uh, moto in the stand board just now so one is for the uh, one moto and another and this part here the left the right hand side here is for another moto so which these two input is basically from the Arduino or the microcontroller and this i4 and i3 is also from the microcontroller or the Arduino and then this output one will goes into the motor and the output two will goes on the another uh, uh, sides of the motor and similarly for the O3 output 3 and output uh, 4 and then we have this uh, VCC1 and VCC2 so VCC1 is basically we can uh, basically the power supply for the uh, this chip here for, for all the components inside the chip here yeah. so that's why it can it only need 5 volts but for the motor to spin at the maximum speed just like in the previous video we need to give uh, extra power supply to it so that's why here you can give from 9 to 12 volts or for this here if you have a bigger motor so basically you need uh, a higher voltage here so vs is basically or vcc2 is basically for the external power supply and the vss is for the uh, 5 volt power supply and then we have this ground obviously for ground and sometimes we can also connect this for the heat sink yeah, because when the motor is moving basically it will generate heat so we need to reduce the heat by using heat sink you can connect it to these two ports here at the ground ports and also the enable ports so the enable ports here is basically uh, the most important thing so you need to make it high if you want to turn on the motor uh, and if you make it low basically the motor will not moving for whatever values that you give uh, at the input 1 and input 2 or the input 3 and the input 4 in other words if you want to use a single motor only so you can make the enable 3 and 4 or enable 2 here as low so when it is low basically it will disable this part here and for you if you dis enable 0 here so basically it will disable the input uh, the 1 and 2 which means it will disable all of this part here so if you want to enable it you must make sure that this value here is not 0 okay uh, and if you want to turn uh, to make the uh, to change the speed this part here will become important because this enable pins here that is actually uh, will receive the PWM values and uh, will control the speed of the motor so it is either to enable and disable the motor and also to change the speed of the motor so this is the pin assignment for the L293D uh, chip or the driver, the uh, motor driver uh, and let's say if you, for those who get this motor, this small mini motor driver here, mini module here uh, if you want to use this module here, you can uh, basically this parts here, uh, the A1 and A2 uh, a minus and a plus is the output one so basically this is from the output one so this is basically will be connected to the motor so this is for the motor one uh, so this is for the motor one uh, and then this part here will connect to the motor two uh, so this is m2 uh, or the output three and four so this here is for the ground so this is for the ground and then we have this part here is for the B in which basically the one that is connected to the uh, 16 or the 9 to 12 volt power supply which is the power supply for the motor so this is where you connect your 
the the external power supply or the battery the 9 volt battery and this part here this is for this uh, motor for the output and for, for the input basically this is uh, the same thing like I've sh that is shown here uh, so the I1 is basically I1 in 1 I2 is in 2 and then I3 and I4 is basically I3 and I4 no difference so basically this is where uh, comes from the Arduino yeah. and then this part here is the enable ports so again make sure uh, the enable ports like I've said previously uh, if you make it low it will disable all the ports from this sides here uh, for the E2 for the E1 it will in disable all this port here and it also can be using it can be used for the uh, speed control yeah so this is the enable and also we have the ground as well here yeah, which is connected to the Arduino as well and we have the VCC here which is connected to the 5 volts so which means you can connect to this is the power supply for the chips here uh, for the components inside the uh, this chip here so again for those who have this uh, so basically you need this cable here uh, this is one will go to the motor uh, so this will go to the motor uh, and then this one here for the power supply will go to the uh, battery pause uh, and then this part here the enable basically you can just leave it as short if you want if you don't want to change the speed you just want to turn on and off so you just uh, leave the the short pins here uh, just like the this part here so basically you can leave it short yeah so this is again make sure that uh, if you want to turn it on uh, it is stay short like this but if you want to disable it so just remove this uh, pins here so basically if you remove it yeah, so if you remove that part here so now it is not short so it will become disabled so if you want to make it enable again so make sure you don't remove that yeah. and this parts here uh, you must use uh, this cable here so meaning that you must have this female uh, this female types of cable uh, so if you have this then you can use with this module here uh, if you don't have this basically you can just remove this chip here and insert, insert it into the breadboard and then you can use this uh, chip uh, with your breadboard on your breadboard just like shown in this uh, diagram here from the Tinkercad uh, so basically if you don't have the module if you only have this single chip here uh, or you don't have the female cable then you just insert it into your remove the chip from the module and insert it into this breadboard here and then complete the circuit like this so but as you can see the the board is the breadboard is bigger that's why for those for my student basically I give you this module so that your circuit is tidy and your circuit is smaller uh, than this kind of circuit here but if you don't have it then you can follow this circuit uh, try to complete this circuit first for those who have hardware and as usual for those who don't have hardware you can follow this circuit here uh, which is uh, again uh, to find this component here this is the L293D or the H-Bridge motor driver which is as usual just uh, click on the li uh, device library and just search the L293D so automatically only one L293D here choose it ok and then connect it just like this so out one out one connect it with the motor and then in one in one and enable one so connect it into the 
pins uh, the output pins of the Arduino uh, make sure for the if you want to change the speed make sure the enable is connected to any of the PWM ports if you don't use the PWM ports you can't change the speed and then the others are nothing yet we we won't use it yet but if you just want to construct directly all the circuits so you can directly construct this uh, with the this push button and the potentiometer as well uh, so this this is the only setup and again don't forget to change the power supply into 12 volt or 9 volt volt whichever you want to use uh, so that uh, it is not zero there uh, and yeah uh, that's it uh, that is how you uh, construct to by using this uh, Proteus if you have Proteus if you uh, have hardware then this is the circuit for the hardware for those who use the module the uh, module with the L293D module so this is the, the connection to your Arduino and that's it uh, that's how you construct the circuit by using this uh, L293D driver motor motor driver yeah which again uh, this is done to make sure you can automatically control the motor life uh, motor movement from the clockwise or counterclockwise movement and again uh, you may take your time uh, as long as you want uh, to complete the circuit uh, and please make sure that you uh, do that the circuits construct the circuit you can use any methods the Proteus the hardware or the Tinkercad as long as you do it for this time around I will, I will stop here uh, and again if you are ready to proceed with the coding then you may click the next video so this that's it for today that's it for the this time around um, again hope this video helped and therefore uh, hope you are safe stay safe stay sick stay safe stay curious and stay joyful my name is Ikhwan may god bless you assalamualaikum